Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition Arctic Expanse DLC with my homeboy Raoul Anmundson. I feel we're on the fifth expedition now. It would make sense to say his name properly, properly at least once. So there you go. You're welcome. We are on Expedition Five, as I've just said, and we are are given, gifted, some may say, another opportunity to to visit the cursed Arctic. This time around, we've got plenty more fun, so we had to fill up on the essentials needed and hopefully prevail. If we're very, very lucky, we might find that we can make the land cursed again. We can defeat all those bloody spiders and hopefully find a gap in one of those caves and go through to that nether realm that we found before and actually go in and properly this time. Hopefully, hopefully. But I jibber jabber enough, let's crack on. The cursed Arctic. Full of anticipation, I boarded the ship. The crew had preparations left to do, so I spent my time on the deck, enjoying the cool breeze. Soon after my arrival, the trader approached me. He was impatient to set eyes on the idol we had obtained. Well, here you go, son. Is your name still the same? No, it's changed. We handed over the idol. A smile brightened his face as he turned the idol in his hands. 80 funds, very nice. I obtained new funds as remuneration for our efforts. A trader politely asked for a moment of my time. He was a collector of sorts and promised to compensate me favourably for any instruments that we could retrieve. Well, we'll do it. The trader was heartened by my acceptance of his request. He wished us luck and a safe journey. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see the tales of my previous expeditions had attracted quite some attention. I was approached by several capable persons that were, were, were to learn the truth of the stories surrounding my endeavours. Who did I want to recruit? So again, we've got Erna Madurin, the cultist. We've got Arika Chelu, the cultist, and Lieutenant Winifred, or Winifred Hosking, the mountain trooper. He's a blondie. Uh, no, I, once again, I'm very, very happy with our setup here. I could do with a few more attack die, but we've, we're picking up our, uh, our bullets for that. So that's nothing to worry about so much. I'm good. I'm good. But thanks. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that our vessel was ready to leave the harbour. And we better purchase some stuff. Ooh! Ooh! That's gold. A signature shotgun. Expertly crafted shotgun with golden engravings. Usable in combat. Allows a special dice combo. Mine! Uh, we also are going to fill up on chocolates, snowshoes, a campsite, because we can. Hmm. What else can we buy? Uh, we need rope. Machete is not going to come in any useful. We've got our Mountaineer leveled up, so there's no need for that. Plenty of dynamite, one would argue. Bullets, I suppose, would be quite useful. Do we just fill up on bullets, just to make sure we're okay? Hmm, or do we take the dynamite? We've got plenty of uh, dice to use in conjunction with the bullets, I suppose it makes sense to buy lots of bullets. Do we have one more dynamite? Why not? Is there anything worth two here? Not really. I think that's good. We've got a bit of whiskey left. We've got some chocolate. We've got plenty of stuff to trade for that. We can scrap the water next time round. Medikits are okay, although we can't buy any medikits anyway. Yeah, I'm good. We've got plenty of tickets as well. I'm happy with that. That will do. Just in time, the ship was primed to put out to sea. Well, let us set sail. Expedition 5, you know. We're going back to the Arctic. We've got the coat for it. Might as well use it. And we're straight in. No sailing in here, son. After too many salty days at sea, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. We had arrived, and it was time to sally forth. We brought you home. Abbas. We brought you home, mate. Uh, right, so let us begin the expedition, I guess. There's no reason to put anything in storage. And we will start straight away with getting rid of that. Right. Oh, so we can cover the southern hemisphere quite happily. I know southern hemisphere. But, you know, we're in the Northern Hemisphere. It makes, just makes sense to say it, really. Uh, right, let's... Uh, well, with that in mind, do we use that to our advantage and just to scope out what's around? We've got the tickets for it. It would free up some space as well. 
Actually, tickets don't weigh anything. That'll do. No. Oh, village straight away. We arrived at a native village. The villagers observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at their settlement. We moved freely about the village and considered our options with these people. The villagers observed us with curiosity. They were kind and offered us what they could. Uh, that's because they don't know us, you see. They don't know any better. Uh, well, we don't need to rest, so let's just trade. Ooh, we've got some muktuk. We'll be removed after the expedition. Why are they selling water? That makes no sense. Uh, right, so... So, so, so. Ooh, we've got instruments too. Let's go for the muktuk and the instruments. And if we gave you all the teeth getting close what about the walrus teeth oh and if we were to take the jewelry we're finding a sweet spot here uh how about some rope i think that's about as close as damn it that'll do that'll do i came to an agreement with the villagers and i think we're done thank you we got ready and headed out as new adventures awaited us. Cool. Cool. Uh, right, so... We could head north. 21. And then we can cut through here. We'll head north. Oh, there's quite a few here. Okay, what's in the stone circle? We came across a stone circle that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions painted upon each rock. Perhaps they formed a type of map. Uh, well, I suppose ruins is as good as any to discover now. Yeah, we know you're not happy, Hubbus. Ooh, lots, 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 lots. Throwing us all around. Let's have a quick look. So, right. They're all down by the uh, polar stations. That was the word I was looking for. Polar stations. Right, well, let's move on to this one and then straight down here, I guess. That'd be the best way. I can see us hitting the... Um, what's that? An old camp. Um, I can see us hitting the cursed uh, lands early on this, if it's going to happen. I approached an abandoned campsite. I found torn tents. Then I started digging myself. Under the snow cover, I found their grisly remains. A Norwegian group covered in odorous blubber and stab wounds. I took the time to give the dead a proper burial. See? Nationals. You've got to look after the nationals. Look after your own, son. Can't blame you. My instinct said we would find something of value here. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to valuable equipment. More whiskey and fireworks. Make them in use. What are they going to weigh me down? They are. They are. Do I want them then? Let's get rid of the machetes. We're not going to have any use out of the machetes, I don't think. Oh, crap. We could have kept them. Damn my weightless stuff. It always throws me off. Always throws me off. All right. Well, let's get on this side of the temple because we don't know what's going to happen it could be very nasty i finally came through a haze of snow and saw a dark structure before us the steps the entrance everything was made of smooth obsidian it seemed to suck sunlight while opening the entrance i heard humming in the back of my head a thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure oh well, that's that's curious some of the spiky rocks seemed torn up who what has been living here my mind was reeling in this room. I was not sure if what was before me was an old st stone or an impact crater of something that crashed here from above. Ooh, what's that? Turn page of Homebound. Could come in useful. Probably not. We'll take it all anyway and then we'll sort our bags out. What a glorious day. That was exactly what we came for. We took what we could and proceeded outside as the whole area behind us began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift ravaged this region and we were responsible. That can't be a bad thing, surely. Uh, we are two slots overburdened, though. So, what do we drop? Uh, or what can we eat? How much sanity does this restore? 15. Okay. 
Okay. Um, well, we can... Ooh, pretty fireworks. And again? Ah. Ooh. Ah. Um, right, what else can we drop? Just the one. Well, we've only got the one snowshoe left. So, why don't we scrap it? And crack on. 27. Let's do this. Yep, sand does indeed form out of snow, supposedly. I'm guessing it defrosts it. Uh, oh, we've got polar bears. Onwards. Hmm. It doesn't actually cost us, does it? As far as sand is concerned, when we use the sleds. We have six, so technically we can afford to go all the way here and then back again. What's that? B34. Let's go to B34. Such a big station must have been operated by a large group, but when I was greeted only by the Ashen Man... Oh, but I was greeted only by the Ashen Man. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. There was one look of deep despair when he greeted me. Then he was gone. I decided to quickly conclude my business with the man. Oh, he's a bit mad, of course. George Bennings! Hmm. Alright, so... Oh, we can access the storage room. That would be good. I checked out his stash. So we can drop off that, that, and that'll do, I guess, for the time being. Um, we could rest, but I'd rather use the dog sled. It was B34, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, the power man returned to the question of tickets. Apparently these tickets would buy me passage with his sled. He truly was obsessed with his tickets. They must have been the only thing holding him together. He offered me to travel to the following location. So we'll go to the furthest one. hey -o! Show me what's going on. Oh. Oh. What? You just dumped me. You dumped me in the middle of nowhere. What, what the hell? Well, thankfully... We can't flood because of the sand. So we just need to eat stuff. Are you guys getting disloyal? You are. Okay. You can have a little bit of whiskey. Just to keep you happy. And then we'll fill up on blubber. Nice. Uh, well, when, well, in that case, I suppose we might as well uh, check out what these guys are. Oh, what's that? A glacier? Hmm, can't get close to it. It's a nice cave, technically, isn't it? So, uh, let's go straight across. Get ready to attack the walrus. Oh, yes. Go, 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 choo! Oh, Jesus Christ, there's, <laughs> there's three of them. Uh, this is going to end badly. Okay, so, um, we've got bullets, we've got dynamite. We've just got to go loco. Just got to go loco. So, what do we get? Well, let's further the taunt up. Do you stack of anything? Just that. Do you stack of any more? Because I've got plenty. No. Right, so shotgun blast for three. Shotgun blast for three. You and some dynamite. Takes you down even more so. So down to ten each. Uh... I'm guessing we're just building up shields now. So, strong claws on you, normal claws on you. Stable positioner. Or, tactical advantage, that'll do. And, again, I guess. Get that shielding up. Another taunt? You bastard. Uh, any more bullets? Two. Why not? Why not? I think that's this done. Oh, you, oh, you beauty. What do we need? That's one down. Um, we'll just take the edge off you. So why not? How many do you have? Oh, wowza. You have quite a few dice. Oh. Yeah. That, that, that could have gone worse. That could have gone worse. Uh, let's uh, roll again. 
Hmm. Well, we've got a big claw. And we've got a... Ooh. Or... Yeah, we'll use that on you. And you've only got five. So we'll use both shotguns on you. And a... Just the one attack. That leaves you with six. We need to take three off. We can do that. We can do that. So, we'll throw the rest of these. Boom. And then the rest should finish you off. Well, just in case it doesn't, I'll cover us. There you go. We deprive the dead of anything useful. Uh, can we carry everything? I don't think we can carry everything, can we? We'll take the horns and the meat. I'm not making the same mistake. We'll take it all. Yeah, we're overburdened. Go on. Right, so, you've been taken care of. That's great. Uh, as it stands, people are hurt. So, let's heal up, I guess. Who's real bad? Willow, you're down. I'm okay. Ghost is alright. Uh, the rest I'm going to leave. If we're injured, that's fine. It's, um... Yeah, we'll leave it. If someone gets infected, then we'll, uh, we'll sort it out after that. Who knows? We might find something interesting. And it would appear that sand can flood. Oh, someone's injured, aren't they? Oh, Edmund. Thought I could count on you. There we go. All right, into the ice cave. Let's see what this all is about. Ooh, investigate the remains, I guess. Who were who, who they from? African. See, they're out of the depth. They're used to warm climates. This is like the extreme. You, you can't get much more opposite than snow and ice. You know, I bought some, some sand over for you guys, but obviously it's a bit too late. Oh, more alcohol. Uh, custom flares and voodoo dolls. We'll take a voodoo doll, which we can use straight away. So those guys down. All right. Well, let's head back to the temple, and then I suppose we'll just slowly make our way round. There's not much need to uh, go elsewhere. We could always go back to the police station and try the dogs again, I suppose. Uh, we'll see what happens in the temple first. So you guys are probably annoyed with me, so we'll, we'll drink a whiskey. And a bit more muck tuck. That's got to disappear. See the polar bear and the polar foxes, or arctic foxes. They're exploring this because they've never seen sand before. It's all very rare for them. Very, it's just scary. It's like, what's this underneath my feet? It's like a, a giant litter tray. Without access to medical equipment, it was... Oh, the ghost is injured now. Okay, well, it's the medical stuff gone. What you got for me? The shrine did not seem fit with anything we saw in the ice before. Dread filled me when we ascended the steps. While opening the entrance, I heard humming in the back of my head. I sniffed at the air, like putrid feces or a roadside ditch. Then I saw the vapours, foul swathes of sickly fumes, tendrils rising out of tiny cracks in the floor. Oh, this is a new one. Let's have a look. Head to the shrine. It was hard to believe that humans could have built this sacred place. Out of the corner of my eyes, I could see it writhing, watching. Placed on the altar was a small worm-like creature, writhing, feeling around with its tendrils. I brushed it aside briskly. Yeah, get off, you dirty little thing. And, uh, well, more stuff. I'll take it all. This was not a day for hesitation. The treasure was ours for the taking. The floor began to crack under the pressure of the foul gas. Below, I could see a frightened mass of bubble and... A frightening mass bubble and pop. I fled outside, only to see the shrine collapse in a cloud of stench so vile I could not begin to describe it. It moved fast towards us. Ooh. Fumarole. That's not good. I think... Because we're overburdened. Do we drop the meat? Or do we eat the muck tuck? We need the muck tuck. There we go. And get our butts up on here, hopefully before it floods.
that's where I want to go. Please don't flood. Ooh, as it stands, we needed this. Good. Wow, that spreads quick. Poisonous glass, ga glass gas cloud. We approached a mysterious structure that seemed to be partially made out of pure gold. We discovered a mechanism of sorts on one of the sides. With a little time, we would surely be able to activate it. However, what would happen upon activation remained a mystery. <gasps> After many hours of research, we were adept enough to decrypt the seemingly ancient mechanism. All of a sudden, an enormous column of light extended from the seal. But there would appear to be one more. Oh, volcanoes in the Arctic. Mysterious. Right, let's get over here before it floods. That was lucky. That just fell from underneath us. I didn't realise pack ice actually did that. That was very lucky. Very lucky indeed. Well, now it seems that we are having to look for another golden seal. That sort of throws out what we are planning on doing. My guess would be, if I'm going to hazard a guess here, it's going to be right between these volcanoes here. So we're probably best heading north. But before we do that, let's have a quick look in the station. When the Powerman came out of the station, the sled dogs outside went quiet. For some queer reason, he asked us about tickets. He gave me an angry look. When we noticed, he noticed me staring at the large ice block in one of the rooms. We had little to say to each other. Who are you called? McLeddy! Okay, is that like McLovin? McLovin, great. Right, so let's use the storage room first. And we can get rid of the jewels and the amulet. I don't think there's anything else we can drop. Uh, no. I don't think so. No. That'll do. And we will trade. And we will get some well if i wanted to get rid of the scorpion tails can i have the medikits i can what about all the chocolate in the world not quite all the chocolate in the world what about walrus teeth close enough close enough what else would you like meat i've got meat i've got meat um You see, the uh, snowshoes would come in handy. Oh, okay. And dynamite, maybe? No. Dynamite's uh, just one mite too far. Uh, Three tickets? <gasps> oh, you really like those tickets. I suppose we could go for rope. Just to even it out a bit. As I said, we've got plenty of tickets for what we want to do. That's good. We had a deal. Such nego negotiation skills needed practice. How did he get all alone out here? Well, that's not a question I need to ask. We shall use a ticket up. I enjoyed his hospitality. I could see him go to sleep with the dogs. Okay, well, that's your thing. You're alone. You called McLovin. Can't fault it. I dreamt the sleeper awakened from the ice sarcophagus, but otherwise it was an uneventful night. In the morning, the power man was gone. No, he's not. He's there! Oh no, it's Dr. Blair now. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. The do Your dogs look dead. I, 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 you know, I'm just, just saying. I'm not, what he did, what McLovin did to them, I have no idea. But they, they all look dead. Buggered to death, maybe. The warm beds were a welcome reprieve from the cold. When I went to sleep, he barred the door. Probably sensible. The whole night I heard some something scratch and scrape at the door. In the morning, the man was cordial and prepared breakfast. Oh, it's Vance Norris now. How many people are around? I thought it was just the one. Uh, well, I think we're done here for the time being. We may need to take the uh, the sled onwards uh, after we've been up, up north. So uh, we'll be back because we've got the shrine down here. We've got plenty of food now, though, which is fantastic. But I'm pretty sure... What the hell's that noise? Uh, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, it's going to be up here what we need. So uh, let's get as close as I can dare to. Oh, more bullets. Past the volcanoes. 
So we need to drink some alcohol in a minute. So let's eat all of this chocolate to free up a space. That's going to get us there. Uh, there it is. There it is. So we approached a mysterious structure that seemed to be partially made out of gold, etc., etc. Activate the steel. And you're going to say, oh, is this supposed to happen? Yes, it is. Ah, excellent. Splendid. So I would hazard a guess at saying this is a dead area. Yes, sorry, Bob. There's no way we're going to get into it, that's for sure. We'll cut off here. I mean, we could go and have a look. I don't think we'll get too far, mind. That's a magnetic mountain, isn't it? Yeah, that's no good. Uh, let's head back. Let's, uh... Is it there? Was it there? 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 That'll do. If we have to attack, we'll attack. Attack! So we got four of them at eight health each. That's good. We got the dynamite. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna hold out for getting the head. So with that in mind, we just need to take two off each. Let's see you down. Let's see you down. You get a kick, and one more again. Oh. Uh, okay, well, 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 we'll shoot at you. And we'll throw a defence up, just in case. But I could really do with a head. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Boom. Right, what you got? Uh, pelts. We'll take the pelts and we'll take the teeth. We can afford to take the meat as well. Let's do it. And we'll see what you are. Oh, a portal. Well, we've got the sanity for it. Let's do it. An ancient gate, which is gold, with a portal in the middle, with snow on it, surrounded by sand, is here, before us. A light swirling at its centre seemed to form some kind of portal. Well, let's go in again. What's the worst that can happen, eh? Oh, well, that's pretty boring, all in all. Uh, let's uh, drink some whiskey. Get them happier with us. We shall eat ch chocolates and uh, see what these are. That's probably going to be a cave. Ooh, it's a temple. Let's do it. After a long day of travelling, the expedition reached a mysterious temple that was carved into the mountain. We stood in awe of the enormous structure. A large opening led inside. We had found a sacred altar room. An intricately festooned altar stood in its centre. We saw a jewel-studded goblet containing a clear liquid standing atop of the altar. Intuition told me that one of our members should drink it from it. So, do we want to put at risk Hubbus? He's a bit of a miserable sod, all in all. Or we could have Private Edmund Marks, who's full on loyalty. I think Hubbus better drink it. We don't understand what he says anyway. Ooh, I offered Hubbus to drink from the mysterious chalice. He protested initially, but then took a few long sips until the chalice was emptied. A moment he drank from the chalice, his hands began to shake wildly as his body twisted in pain. After the scream ceased, I could see that his hands, his hands hand, <laughs> been, his hands had been deformed into ghastly, bestial claws. Hmm. It was not the prettiest thing to look at, but should be a benefit in the next engagement. As we emerged from the temple, a massive stone plate lowered behind us and sealed the portal. There was no way back inside. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. I'm happy with that. What be you? Another temple? That'd be cool. Ah! Today we approached a sacred temple that was built right into the face of the mountain. Who'd have thunk it? I could tell that this was a special place. A large opening led inside. We found a sacred altar room. A stone altar stood in its centre. There was an ornamental goblet containing a clear liquid standing in the centre of the altar. Intuition told me that Hubbus should drink from it. Ooh. I offered Hubbus to drink from the strange chalice. He looked at me for a brief moment and then slowly drank the mysterious potion. Immediately his, his eyes lit up and he looked at me with an almost relieved expression on his face. Afterwards he seemed particularly peaceful and quiet, as if nought could trouble his mind any more. 
As we left, a massive stone plate lowered behind us and sealed the portal. There was no way back inside. Cool. So what's that done? That's cleared you of everything. You're not superstitious. And you're immune from now on. Oh, that is awesome. You've gone from being the worst to the best. We've just got to get your loyalty up now and everything will be great. Super duper. Uh, right, well, well, best head back. This, this has been fortuitous for us, this portal. This has been the nicest portal I've ever been into. Well, now Edmund is getting up hap unhappy. I, I can dig that. My vision became blurry. I rubbed my eyes, and when I looked up again, I was back where I originally stepped into that terrible portal. I would argue against that point. I think it was a lovely portal. Edmund's just jealous. Alrighty, so let us head back. 100. Yeah, let's head back to the uh, polar station. Let's drink a whiskey. Is so it going to get us to the polar station? Still no. And a couple of chocolate? Must be getting close. 75. Right, so let's get back down here. We'll rest up and use a few tickets just to get our Santi back up. We'll then hit... Oh, oh, oh. No, wrong one. Uh, then we'll hit the uh, temple. And then carry onwards, I guess. That will be the plan. When the power man came out of the station, the sled dogs outside went quiet. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. Oh, I'm doing all this. Uh, we can access the storage room. Is there anything to store, though, now? I don't think there is, is there? I think we're good. Uh, let's see what we got to trade. Mm, nothing of consequence. We could however get rid of the meat and just fill up on dynamite it's a good trade for me i'm happy with that and we'll rest i enjoyed his hospitality when i went to sleep he barred the door i awoke after quite an uneventful night in the morning the power man was gone well let's do it again i enjoyed his hospitality the power man kept watching me in my sleep that is a bit creepy but then again how would you know if you're sleeping that he's watching you in your sleep I heard the power man scream in tongues. In the morning, the man looked as if he had aged by ten years. Ooh, that's a bit disconcerting, but never mind, we'll do it again. Sleeping here was such a fortunate break from roughing it in the snow. The power man kept watching me in my sleep. I pretended to be asleep while the haggard man was chanting beside my bed. In the morning, the man was cordial and prepared breakfast. And that is all our tickets gone, so we will be hoofing it from here on in. That's fine by me. I can live with that. On to the temple. The shrine did not seem fit with anything we saw in the ice before. Or did not seem to fit, should I say. The steps to its entrance were adorned by spikes as big as a horse. What kind of beast should they ward off? The entrance opened smoothly without a sound and I had a hard time breathing. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. Before I could sense something, teeming, and I immediately closed my mind off to the possibility. Or below I could sense something even. Not getting my words right today. Never mind. My mind was reeling in this room. I was not sure if what was before me was an altar stone or an impact crater of something that crashed here from above. But it does indeed have lots and lots of gold. Take it all! What a glorious day. That was exactly what we came for. We took whatever we could and proceeded outside as the plant life behind us began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift ravaged this region and we were responsible. Oh dearie. Well, let's move on to the uh, glacial cave. Oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, it's stones. Mm, well, we're here. Let's do it. We came across a stone formation that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions painted upon each rock. Perhaps they formed a sort of map. Uh, well, we can reveal camp points. I don't think we need them. What? Yeah. Healing springs. I missed that one. Oh well, never mind. Uh, we'll, we'll carry on to the glacial cave, I guess. Let the sand envelop around us. Oh, polar bear. We approached a cave. Its opening seemed to lead deep, 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 deep into the mountain. We required a torch to uncover its mysteries. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a concealed opening. I'm not willing to do this. I'm not willing to do this. We don't have enough blue dyes. 
Uh, so we've got the next one there. Do we dare have a look see up see? We don't have any more tickets and we're full. We could actually drop some stuff off at the polar station. That makes sense. So let's eat chocolate. 42. Sounds good to me. Such a big station must have been operated by a large group, but I was greeted only by the Ashen Man. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. He told me he had spent many winters here, alone. I had a bad feeling about this. Well, let's go to the storage room. And you can go in, and you can go in. And thinking about it, the, the musical instruments can go in, because I'm not going to use them. I'm going to trade them in next time. The rest can stay. And... Uh, Trade-wise, you got anything? You got tickets. We're going to need tickets. So, oh, we got snowshoes. All right. If I was to give you all of the teeth, and I wanted in exchange all the snowshoes and the medikits, you had a medikit back. Can I have some tickets? I can. Three. Well, that'll work for me. Deal. We found an agreeable solution for both parties. Such negotiation skills needed practice, just like talking. How did he get all alone out here? Sleeping here was such a fortunate break from roughing it in the snow. The pal man kept watching me in my sleep. The whole night I heard some scratch and scrape at the door. I did not like the station one bit. Sleep again because we loved it. Uh, the warm beds were welcome for reprieve. Watching me again once more because we liked the warm beds. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw some things scurry away in the shadows. I dreamt the sleeper awakened from the eye sarcophagus, but otherwise it was an uneventful night. I did not like this station one bit. I think we're good. We're good to go. Now, we can go straight to the pyramid. I am intrigued to see what else there is, though. So let's uh, move up to here. We're doing okay. I have confidence. And as it stands, that definitely writes off that region completely. Which is good. I am missing something in this region. Which is annoying, but I'm not travelling back in that direction. So we'll just head down here, see what this is, and then mosey on out of here, I guess. Unless the polar bear wants to make something of it. Do you want to make something of it, Mr. Polar Bear? Yes, he does. Uh, well, it's an old camp. We'll explore first. There might be something useful in it. I discovered an old abandoned campsite. I found attempts to dig holes. Then I started digging myself. Under the snow cover, I found their grisly remains. A group of natives torn to pieces by some animal. This was an ominous place. I was certain there were riches to be found here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still held some valuable equipment. Ah, well, we'll take all that. Thank you. And uh, attack the polar bear. All three. Oh, dear. Well, we've... Uh, okay, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. This might end tragically. Uh, well, we'll get our taunt up. Uh, we can throw our dynamite down. For a planned explosion. Uh, I think we better focus just on the one polar bear this time round. So let's... Do we try and hold out for the big claws? They're always going to come up as claws. For you, anyway. Uh, not for you. It is only our first roll. We'll do the shotgun blast. And... What can I use with you? Rip a leaf. Oh, I'm bleeding. Strong. Is that strong? No, I'm just bleeding. Well, we'll focus on you. So we need another five off you in particular. Roll them. Oh, that was worth keeping. Okay, so uh, we'll throw in a bullet. Oh, hang on. You're going to die, aren't you, for two. So we only need, we need to take five. Yeah, take five off you. So we use you. We use you, then we can focus on you. Strong claws. 
Uh, we'll throw the shield in, although it's not going to help too much. We need seven off. I don't think we can do it this round. Oh. Maybe we can. Take you down to Chinatown. Is that it? Five. I can't do it, can I? No, I can't do it. Rubbish. Okay, well, this is going to suck. Or not. Got away with it. So, let's focus on you. So we can take you out with that. What's that do? Oh, five damage. Yeah, we'll do that. And uh, we'll shoot you in the face. Boom. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Let's take it all, and then we'll see what we can get away with. So we're only one slot overburdened, so we'll get rid of the... Uh... In fact, does the meat... Yeah, it goes after the expedition anyway. So I might as well get rid of it all. Not a lot I can do with that. And uh, go home. Oh, well, almost. Let's, uh, let's eat the food cans. Boom. There we go. Done it. Cleared it completely. Our final destination taunted us with its golden glory. Success! After weeks of travelling, extraordinary pride overcame me. I knew that my name, Roald Admonson Schimpfenton, would be synonymous with victory. Okay, yeah, good to see. Success. So we've got the Golden Pyramid. A new World Bonus. I don't think that's quite true, but I'm not going to argue. And a Speed Bonus of New Maruno. Cool. What a loyal dog. Which one? Are you picking sides now? This is wonderful. Is that a whiskey bottle? Yes, it is. Uh, so we have Climber. No need because we've got our Trooper. We've got Explosion Expert. Not a big fan of using Dynamite anyway. Or Eagle Eye Viewing Distance. I suppose we could sell our binoculars on the next expedition if we take that. So uh, let's take that. And uh, Alistair Crowley. He gets close. Darwin's out of it. What? Who are you? Oh, David Neal. Yeah, you're no good. And Celis, you had a bad expedition, it looked like, son. Look at that. Boom. We are over 400 ahead. Nice. With that in mind, we'll keep the skins. Uh, we shall sell that. Uh, we'll keep the teeth. We shall sell the jewels. And, well, I guess we sell everything else as well. Monies! Continue. And that's it. We, we are done with Expedition 5. We completely... Well, I say we completely. We missed one thing else on that map. I don't think we missed out anything too much. We did explore the shrines. We tried to get the cursed lands to come back to us. But alas, it would appear that the RNG gods were not smiling on us this time. And next time around, we're heading to the sort of New zealand -y area. That's not New Zealand, is it? I have no idea where that is. It's within the Ring of Fire, I can tell you that much. The opulent prehistoric lands, which contains a golden pyramid. And that'll be Expedition 6 of 6. So we've made it all the way through. We're looking good to get a golden frame for the new explorer, which is awesome. But who knows? It might all go belly up next time around. But... We'll see in due time. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated and I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.